Let's take a look at this problem taken from the British Mathematical Olympiad round tool in 1988. For natural numbers x, y, and z, solve the equation 1 over x plus 2 over y minus 3 over z equals 1. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This equation involves three variables, which is a lot. So what I'm going to do is to try to reduce the number of variables involved or to establish some bound that can minimize the number of possible values uh, that x, y, or z can take. So firstly, I'm not good at dealing with um, plus and minuses at the same time. So I would just say that 1 over x plus 2 over y is always greater than 1 because when this expression is subtract uh, minus 3 over z, then it would equal be equal to 1, so the expression itself must be greater than 1. Now, at this stage, I'm going to say that 1 over x is larger than 1 minus 2 over y, which is y minus 2 over y. Now, if y is greater than 2, then the right-hand side becomes positive. And so, I can just um, take the reciprocal of both sides and say that x is less than y over y minus 2. Of course, I'm going to um, take care of the cases when y is equal to exactly 2 or 1 separately. Now, under this case, x is less than 1 plus 2 over y minus 2. Now, notice that this term in most cases, can't even be um, greater than 1, mostly smaller than 1. So I'm going to deal with the case when this expression is less than 1, because if this is less than 1, then x is more than, say, 1 point something. And as x is a natural number, x can only be 1. Now, that's, very, that's a very good thing to, to achieve, because... I've just reduced x to exactly one possible value, one single possible value. So, in fact, when y is at least 4, this expression will become, um, is already less than or equal to 1. And under this subcase, x is less than 2 already, and so x is equal to 1. Now, if x is equal to 1, then we put it back into the original equation, we will have 2 over y minus 3 over z equals 0. And so I can say that yz can be equal to any solution of the form 2t, 3t, where t is any natural number. Now, I've, I've settled the case when y is at least 4, so I'm going to deal with the case when y is equal to 3. When y is equal to 3, the original equation becomes 1 over x plus 2 over 3 minus 3 over z equals 1. And so that's 1 over 3. Now, z minus 3x times 3 equals xz. So, xz plus 9x minus 3z equals 0. I'm going to add a negative number, which is minus 27, on both sides, so that the left-hand side is then factorizable. And I'm going to factorize it as planned. And it becomes minus 27. For two integers to have product that is a negative number, one of them must be negative. However, z plus 9 is always positive because z itself is positive. So that means x minus 3 has to be negative. Now, if this has to be negative, then it can only be minus 1. 
because the next negative factor is already minus 3 and that will give x equals 0 which is absurd now z plus 9 has to be 27 so therefore x equals to 2 and z equals to 18 so that's uh, another set of solutions after that I'm going to go back to the cases when y is equal to 2 and 1 if y equals 1 then the original e equation becomes 1 over x plus 2 minus 3 over z equals 1 so 3 over z minus 1 over x equals 1 now take common denominators 3x minus z equals xz xz minus 3x plus z equals 0 I'm going to minus uh, subtract both sides by 3 again so to make left hand side factorizable and then I factorize and it will become this now using a similar argument we know that z minus 3 has to be negative 1 and x plus 1 then has to be 3 so z equals 2 x equals 2 that's another set of solutions and finally if x if y is 2 then 1 over x plus 1 minus 3 over z equals 0 so 1 over x equals 3 over z and we know that x and z must be of the form t 3t where t is any natural number and so um, after all these kind uh, all this work we know that all the solutions are 2 1 2 when y is 1 and then that's t 2 t uh, it's typo should be t 2 and 3 t and that's when y is equal to 2 2, 3, 18, and finally 1, 2t, 3t, and that's uh, taking care of the cases where y is greater than or equal to 4. And these solutions are taken whenever t is any natural number. And so that's our, all our solutions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, Make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.